In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding all possible rational zeros using the rational zero theorem, problem type one. We're given the polynomial g of x, and we're asked to find all of the possible rational zeros. And if we have any duplicates, that we only put them in the list once. And the first thing that I notice about this g of x function is that it is not in descending order. So I will start by rewriting it, noticing that the highest degree is the degree 3 here, negative 5x cubed. Then we have a negative 1x squared, then a plus 2x, and lastly our constant term there, minus 2. And now that we have it in descending order, we can dig into this rational zeros theorem, which says that all possible rational zeros will be in the form of p over q where p is all of the possible factors of that constant term, and q is all of the possible factors of the leading coefficient. So for this example, my possible factors for negative 2 would be 2 and 1. Those are the only two possible factors, but they could be either positive or negative. So for example, I could use 1 times negative 2 or negative 1 times 2 as factors of negative 2. So my possible factors for negative 2 are plus and minus 1 or plus and minus 2. For q, I'm looking at the negative 5. And the same, there's only two factors for negative 5, 1 and 5. Each can be either positive or negative. So plus and minus 1 or plus and minus 5. And writing these factors as possible fractions, I could see that p could be plus or minus 1 over a q of plus or minus 1. So that would just simplify to plus or minus 1. And then if we kept that same p value, plus or minus 1, it could be over the other q, which is plus or minus 5. So simplifying that fraction, a plus or minus 1 over a plus or minus 5 is a plus or minus 1 fifth. So that covers both possibilities where p was 1, but p could also be 2. So we would have a plus or minus 2 in the numerator, and two options for the denominator, the first being plus or minus 1 is just a plus or minus 2, and then one last combination would be to have the plus or minus 2 again in the numerator, but this time the plus or minus 5 in the denominator. So simplifying this fraction would give us a plus or minus 2 fifths. So using the rational zeros theorem, we have 8 possible zeros, four numbers, each one possible as both a positive or a negative. 